and still sitting on the fence about you know what's what we're going to do with these cameras now that the RNC is over. Um, I I did review quite a bit of material that was provided. I reviewed the contract and I reviewed uh, the transcript of the original hearing we had where we approved the purchase of the contract, as well as information provided by um, the ACLU by email to me yesterday. Um, I, if for me, um, there is a delicate balance, and I'm sure we're going to hear this from every single council member, what is the balance between providing security for our city, what is the balance between individuals' um, right to privacy, and, um, and just one of the things that the ACLU pointed out was something they call the chilling effect of cameras and discusses um, how it might put a damper on people's um, life and they put it as, quote, life-enriching, protected, expressive activity, um, and that that would be dampered. I know there's a number of concerns about where these cameras are located and the number of cameras. Um, I did sit with um, the TPD and, and looked at the camera's uh, abilities. We uh, have the, or ha had been provided, I know I had asked for it when I was there, the maps of where the cameras are actually located and how they work, and, and all my questions were answered. So thank you very much to Kevin for spending the time with me yesterday um, and and explaining some of, of those <coughs> technical items as well as some uh, questions that, that I had that you weighed in on. A couple of important points to me, of course, is the cost, the expense, and from reviewing the contract, and I'm a, I would like to have somebody from the administration, I don't know if Mr. Cerrito, if you can answer this, or, or we need to have someone from the contract administration answer this. But the contract provides for a, a 365 day warranty period, and we would not have any expense for um, any maintenance or any error messages because this is technology, it's not just, you know, does the camera break or the glass break on the lens, it's, it's more of a software, so we get error messages that can be investigated. That would be of no cost to us for the next year. This sounds really good. I'm going to give you the legal question. I'm not going to get into technology. There's a one-year um, warranty on the ca cameras, and that warranty has not yet started. Because the city has not that was formally, my next question. Okay, the, the city has not formally accepted that yet. There are still some things that they're working out. Once that is accepted, that's when the one-year warranty begins. Okay, so um, suffice to say, we have a little more than a year because we're looking at a future date for acceptance, and then the clock starts ticking on the green and Okay, um, the the other major um, the issue other than cost, monetary cost, hard cost, is the cost to, to our society and to the public in general. And there's some things that we discussed when the, the ordinance was brought up for us to approve the contract originally, and it, you know, it was through an amendment to Mr. Reddick's motion that I asked for this workshop to take place, because the, the importance, I think, that we all mentioned was what is going to happen to these cameras after the RNC, which is why I wanted to have this workshop. Um, the, the cameras during the RNC, I, we hardly had any, thanks, you know, thanks to Mother Nature, we hardly had any um, of the numbers of protesters we had expected. Um, and there was, because of the training and, and the deployment of the 3,500 officers that were here, they, they, it was a good experience. They didn't really get used for the purpose we needed them to be used for when we initially approved the purchase. And we were worried about civil unrest, damage to property, you know, protests, fights, things like that breaking out. So I think that goes to the point that if we didn't need them in retrospect for the original intention during the RNC, do we still need them today? 